Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s. We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. All right, guys, welcome to episode number 28. 29, sorry, of the South Alabama Jaguars Online Dynasty right here on NSA 14. Today, we got Conference Championship Week here, and we are taking on the number two undefeated Texas State Bobcats with a rematch on the line. You can see we win the toss we elected to defer, and, well, actually, they win the toss they elected to defer, and so we start with the ball. On saying down, Trey Minner going to get a gain of three, and that's enough to move the chains. And so it is first down right here from the, from the call it maybe 38. Or it's back to pass, taking a shot, got a man over the middle, it's caught. First down right there for Kawan Baker, gain of 13, and again, move those chains for the Jaguars. So South Alabama comes into the game with one loss on the season. Three losses in two seasons so far in this dynasty. All three have come against Texas State. As right there on second five, Denzel Foster going to break off a nice run. Gain a 22 deep into Texas State territory for Foster. And later on in the drive now, it is a third and eight from, call it the 26 of Texas State, or 21 of Texas State, actually. And that pass is going to be thrown incomplete. Looking for it look like uh, Kawan Baker, that pass falls incomplete. I mean, kind of overthrown. And so out comes the field goal unit. And Patterson's kick is through the uprights. And so South Alabama strikes first here in the American Athletic Conference Championship. Texas State going to take over now. They'll hand it off. And Anthony D. Taylor will pick up 10 yards in the first down. This offense has run all over South Alabama in each of its first three meetings. And we'll have to see if this Jaguar defense can finally answer the call and have a nice game against the Bobcats. Later on, it's now first down, and they're going to run this one to the outside. Mills finally makes a stop, but not before Robert Brown gets again to 21 inside the 25. Down to the 21 of South Alabama later on. Now it's second and one, and Brown's got nowhere to go this time. Nigel Lawrence, the senior strong safety, coming up to make the play. On third and three, however, they'll hand it off to Anthony D. Taylor. And Taylor's going to go up the middle for five and enough to move the chains. Uh, set up a first and goal from the eight. 2.22 to go here first quarter. South Alabama leads 3 nothing. But Texas, look, Texas State looking to score here, and they will. Robert Brown finds the end zone from eight yards out, and Texas State takes a 7-3 lead. Minute 40 to go here first quarter. It's a second and five for the Jaguars. They give it to Trey Minner. Minner puts on the spin move. Trey Minner's going to be tripped up by his shoelaces after a game of about 13. That's still enough for a South Alabama first down. They're on the drive now. It is a second and three here. They'll give to Minner up the middle, and Trey Minner's going to pick up four, and he's got another first down. And that will take us to nearly the end of the first quarter here, down to about 15 seconds to go. This should be the last play of the opening frame. They'll give to Minner. Minner's got a nice hole. Trey Minner down toward the sideline, finally knocked out of bounds. But not before he gets a big gain, 60 yards already here in this first quarter for Minner. It's a second and 10 here early in the second quarter. Uh, they're going to throw down over the middle, and there's Andrew Rinkemeyer for a gain of 16. Horst got his senior tight end right there, Rinkemeyer's first grab of the game, and it'll set up a first and goal. They run out his second and goal from the 12. Horst back to pass, looks over the middle, caught by Rinkemeyer. He's going to shed a tackle, and Andrew Rinkemeyer into the end zone. Orth is 4 of 7 for 47 yards and the touchdown. South Alabama goes on top 10-7. The ensuing drive for Texas State now. The running game is once again having a strong performance so far here for the Bobcats. They're number two and looking to get the win to secure their berth in, in the national championship game. Tyree Turner coming up there to make the play on first down. It's a loss of three. 
On second 13, Willie Jones got nowhere to go. He's dropped immediately in sack by Sean Brown. That will be a loss of a 7. Now it's 3rd and 20 here for Texas State. Back to pass, rolling out. He's going to take off and scramble. And the ball comes loose. Thompson knocked that ball loose, but it will be picked up by Jaquel Pierce for the Bobcats. It's a 10-yard gain, and on 4th and 10, they're going for it. Back to pass, McWilliams. Got enough pressure on there, the pass will fall incomplete. And South Alabama takes over with pretty good field position here. It'll be a second and three from their own 46. Orth going to throw out the man wide open. It's Kawan Baker. Baker's going to pick up 13 and move those chains. First down, South Alabama. On first down from the 41. Orth back to pass. He's going to load up and take a shot deep. Orth, not, or not Orth, but Baker was knocked to the ground, and it's looking like this will be pass interference. And indeed it is. That will be on the free safety there for Texas State. He wanted Baker deep, but Baker just got knocked to the ground. Later on, third and six. Has a man open over the middle. It's Baker and Kawan Baker down inside the five. Baker again at 19. He's got four catches, 52 yards. It's first and goal from the three. Under three minutes to go, first half. South Alabama looking to take a two-score lead. They'll give to Roberts, and the freshman fullback is into the end zone. Three-yard touchdown run for Tyler Roberts. And Texas State going to look to answer here with 2.28 to go in this first half. Elijah Rodgers will make the catch for the Bobcats to convert to third and eight. And on first down, they're going to load up, take a shot deep all alone, and he fell down. Mason Hayes was all alone for a touchdown, and he fell down as he went to make the catch. South Alabama's defense lucks out there. Absolutely pitiful coverage. But on first and goal, they'll hand it off, and that'll be another touchdown for Robert Brown. Seven-yard scamper for the halfback, and Texas State's cut it to a three-point game with a minute 13 to go first half. It's a third and eight now for South Alabama. Both teams have three timeouts to run it. Minner bouncing off tackles, and Trey Minner will pick up the first down. How about that unbelievable effort out of Trey Minner, bouncing off a couple tackles, staying patient, and they convert third and eight with a run play. And now they're going to go to the air. Got a man deep. It's Rinkemeyer. And the tight end's got another 29-yard reception. He's got three catches for 56 yards and a score. And they're in business again. 35 seconds left. Both teams still have three timeouts. Pass out of the backfield is caught by Foster. Ball comes loose. But it'll be picked up by South Alabama. North 8 of 13, 123 yards and a score. Now nine seconds left in the first half. It's a third and 12. Or taking a shot. Caught by Baker underneath. He's going to be a couple yards shy of the first down, though. So they will call their final timeout with three seconds left. And on fourth and two, out comes Patterson for the second time today. His kick will sail through the uprights. And that will take us to halftime. It's 20-14 to 14 South Alabama. Texas State starts with the ball to begin this third quarter. And Nigel Lawrence, big play in the backfield, loss of one on first down. On second 11, pass will be caught underneath by Mason Hayes for a gain of 15. Had a big catch toward the end of the first half that led to Texas State's second touchdown. And on second and five, they'll go read option. Darian Mills dives and misses horribly right there. And Willie Jones will pick up 26 on the read option. So another big game for this run game for Texas State. Later on at second and one, Anthony Taylor up the middle for seven more. Another first down. Taylor's got five carries for 40 yards in this run game. Is really controlling the South Alabama defense. The throw underneath on second and seven will go to Tyler Watts. Watts will cut up field, pick up 11, and again move those chains for Texas State. They're on second and nine. They'll hand it off. And that time, Robert Brown is sworn by a host of South Alabama defenders. Grayer finally brings him down. It's a loss of two. Sets up a third and ten here. 4.45 to go, third quarter. Throwing for the end zone. Intercepted. That's picked off. Nigel Lawrence comes up with the INT. And he dives down at about the three. 
So they'll have to go 97 yards with the South Alabama offense. But on first down, Trey Minner goes up field, sheds off one tackle, and picks up 16. So some breathing room now for the South Alabama offense as they look to try and take a two-score lead here against the number two Bobcats. That's a third and five here from their own, call it 25. Horse back to pass, has a man open, it's Baker again. Kawan Baker, 12 yards on third and five. And move the change for the South Alabama offense once again. Now a first and ten. Coming up on 3-10 to go here, third quarter. It's 20-14 to in favor of South Alabama. They'll go play action, or throws underneath, caught by McCray. And Jordan McCray, the junior wideout, comes up with the big gain right there. 11 of 16, 162 yards, and a score today for Evan Orth. The senior having himself a nice game as they try and win a conference championship for the first time. Third and 12, Orth throws underneath, has Baker, and Kawan Baker will cut up field and get enough for the first down. Needed 12, he got 13. Seven catches, 87 yards today for Baker. And it'll be a first down from the 35 of Texas State. Now they go read option with Orth. Orth going to cut this one down to about the 10. Orth will pick up 25 yards, and that'll set up first and goal, South Alabama. Now it's third and goal from the two as we begin this fourth quarter of play. Orth will keep it himself on the QB sneak. He's into the end zone, and South Alabama elects to take the free point instead of going for two here. And so they lead by 13. Just have a feeling that Texas State is not done scoring. And so with an entire quarter to play, you want to take the free points while you have them. And then if you score again and feel the need to go for two later, you can. But right now they lead by 13. And as expected, Texas State marching right down the field. Going to roll out, and he's going to scramble for a big gain on second and nine is Willie Jones the third. Gain of 15 there for Texas State. They're on on second and three. Robert Brown will go up the middle for four, and that will be another first down. Back to pass. Shows end zone touchdown, Texas State. Elijah Rogers got open along the corner of the end zone, and it's a six-point game now with 540 to go. Orth will give it to Minner. Minner's going to have enough for the first down gain of five. And move those chains for South Alabama. Minner, 18 carries, 114 yards. He's had himself a nice game. They're on now. It's third and 11. The run game not doing much right there. And Orth will have to take a shot deep. Incomplete one in Kwan Baker. And it looked like for a second he might have him. But instead, it falls harmlessly to the turf, and South Alabama has to punt. They're on its third and three. They're already into South Alabama territory. Anthony D. D Taylor will pick up four, and that'll move the sticks. Now it is second and in inches later on. They'll hand it off right up the middle again, and there goes Taylor going to pick up 14 more. This running game coming in big for Texas State. Down to already a minute 35 left in the American Athletic Conference Championship game. South Alabama 26, Texas State 21. It's second and three for the Bobcats. They're going to hand it off to Taylor. Taylor will pick up four more. And South Alabama will call a timeout expecting they're going to need to try and drive down the field. And on first and goal, Taylor's into the end zone untouched for a five-yard touchdown run. So minute 24, two timeouts for South Alabama. They trail by one. Maybe if they had gone for two on that touchdown earlier. But, you know, taking a shot deep, that'll be caught. Kawan Baker, 55 yards on the connection from Evan Orth. The senior quarterback flings it downfield. And now they're in field goal range. Got 40 seconds left to third and six. They're going to try and throw out of the backfield. That's batted away by Greg Peace. And South Alabama will have to settle for three with 37 seconds left. Now going back and editing through this game again, we had, we had McCray wide open. We had McCray open for the first down if we had just thrown it to Axe. Instead, we don't see it. And South Alabama settles for three. Patterson's three for three on field goals today. 
They'll kick it off, and here is what we have been waiting all game for, the laps in special teams. At least once in each of the first three meetings, Texas State had a huge return, and they wait until the final 40 seconds of the game to do so here. Gain of 14 for Elijah Rogers, and they're already in the field goal range almost. Later on, it's third and two. The field goal on the way is good. And they're going to squib it. Ring Kamara is going to spin and dive down with the second left to preserve a Hail Mary attempt. Here we go. American Athletic title game comes down to this. Orth unloads. Takes a shot. It's caught by McCray. But he's going to end up tackled inside the 15. If he had made that last man miss, maybe he has a chance to get there. There's another defender in the area, but he was still trying to turn around. So maybe... If he makes that initial man miss, he has a chance. Instead, he doesn't. And it's another loss to Texas State. Evan Orth played very well. 168.6 QB rating, 14 of 24, 276 yards, a touchdown, no interceptions. Minner, 20 carries, 118 yards. Orth had 7 for 22 and a touchdown. Baker, 8 catches, 142 yards. Ring Kamai had 3 for 56 in a score. McCray had 2 for 63. He caught the Hail Mary attempt and ended up 13 yards short. And man, if I had just seen McCray on that third down and three. Or, you know, if we get the two point conversion, you know, we would still be tied. We would be going into overtime. But there's no guarantee you get the two. And I still think. At that point in time, with the entire fourth quarter still ahead of you, you do take the three. Or, I mean, you take the free points right there. Like, why would you not take points when you know you're going to expect Texas State's offense to move down the field and score some more? If we had gotten another touchdown later in the fourth, I would have gone for two. But I thought the entirety of the fourth quarter to still to go, it was important to just take the free points because you never know. Uh, hindsight, obviously, 2020. You know, you lose by one. If you go for two there, you're tied. So, hindsight, you know, maybe you go for it or you call a different play on third and six. Maybe you try and force that final timeout to be called by Texas State. But at the same time, if you go for it and you get the first down right there, I mean, you're able to run down the clock and win on a chip shot field goal. So hindsight's 20-20. Couple tough uh, decisions there in that fourth quarter that, you know, you have a case for and against both of them. In the end, it doesn't work out. But I just, I really wish on, th on that third down with like 40 seconds left, I wish I had looked for X because we had McCray open and that would have been a first down. As it is, it is a fourth loss to Texas State and we are 0-4 all time now against the Bobcats. All four losses in the dynasty have been to the Bobcats. And it's tough, but that'll do it for me. I will see you next time for the bowl game. We lose a heartbreaker in the conference championship, 31-30. That'll do it for me. I'll see you next time. We will have the Fiesta Bowl. Did make a BCS bowl game. We will play West Virginia in the Fiesta Bowl. And that'll do it for me, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.